it's Nikai with House of Meese and today we are going to be going over a Christmas planner. I just want to tell you guys that this took a while to get to this stage. I thought I originally had a Christmas planner in mind and it did not work out so well. Um, but I am so glad that I didn't because I found this planner and I love it. First off, excuse my nails, lots of home rental stuff going on so they're chipped and old. I'm just not going to worry about them until Thanksgiving time. But getting past that. I am absolutely in love with this new planner, you guys, and I'm gonna just hop right on into it. So the planner that you see here is a Christmas planner from Organize with Katie from Etsy. Um, I will have her shop listed down below as well as the direct link to this. This is a um, full letter planner, but she has it in several different sizes, which is amazing. She has it, um, an A5 size and personal size if you're like a follow facts girl. She was also very very kind enough to give you guys an awesome coupon. I will have that linked down below so you can know and it's a really 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 good deal so check it out. A little bit about this planner. It is 63 pages total. This is a printable so when you order this planner you do not actually get um, something shipped to you. You get a PDF file that is sent to you through um, Etsy basically and you can download it from there and print it as you would like. Uh, so with that being said, there are several like uh, categories within the planner. Um, so you obviously get this Christmas planner kind of like the cover. And then along with that, you also get a monthly planner, a list planner, gift planner, budget planner, decor planner, you have traditions and activities, um, a kids planner, party planner and then I believe the last two are Christmas uh, dinner and then Christmas day planner and then you also get a couple of sheets for notes so with that being said I did not use everything that is in the planner or, or with, that is with the printables in my planner I took my uh, sheet and I took it to Office Depot I always forget what it's called I took it to Office Depot and I had them printed out so I got a clear cover um, and then I also got a back whiting and I got a clear spiral. I just really think it's better. I like keeping my planners from a year to year basis um, for a lot of the planning stuff and it's really really good to be able to look back on. So we'll just go ahead and get through it, no messing around and hop right on into it. The first thing like I said is the actual cover of the planner and it also says belongs to what I'm probably going to do here because there's no one else it's going to belong to in my house. No one really likes to plan in my family as much as I do. I'm just going to put the year. Um, and then you get into the monthly planner. Each of these have a different kind of like cover for. So if you wanted to, you can even make this a little bit thicker. I'm gonna definitely add tabs to mine to help out with that. I also did mine um, double-sided. So there's a couple of pages in here that are messed up just so you guys know because it was my um, store's fault, not hers. So you get two different types of monthly uh, glances. So you have the kind of like side view where you can turn your uh, planner to the side and it starts and it's Monday through Sunday and then you also get the uh, move it over here there you go you also get the more of the vertical way that's also Monday through Sunday and then you get the exact same ones that are basically Sunday through Saturday and then I separated mine a little bit differently than how she has it planned out in um, the way that she sends them to you. So I did decor planner next. I'm just gonna go through these really quickly. You have a nice holiday cleaning checklist, different areas in your home, and then just a normal checklist if you have sp um, specific things that you want to have clean. You have a decor inventory um, and what you can do here she has a printable that you can basically print out and then it says the box number and what's in the boxes and this is where you store all that stuff so it says the box number up here and then the contents of the boxes I love this method I think it's so amazing and I think I'm gonna laminate mine then you get into the decor planner where you can basically have what theme you're gonna go with that year for different rooms and things like that what things you need what you want to make it's just it's really just a good thing to have like I said, I'm just going through this really quickly to show you guys and then there's a DIY section I love this because this keeps me grounded you get on Pinterest and you get on YouTube and you see all these amazing things of what people are planning to do DIYs and you want to do so many I've limited myself to three DIY projects that are home related. I do as much as I can with the girls, but I only want to do up to three DIY projects for a home and decor and things like that and not spend my entire time worrying and stressing. Next is the budget planner. 
So you have your holiday budget and this is uh, the amount you want to spend and so you have your budget and then what you actually end up spending. So you have your gifts, decorations and supplies, just things to keep you really grounded. Food and entertaining, um, travel events and then miscellaneous and you can put your total which is always good if you guys can't see that. There you go. Total which is always good to kind of plan for next year just in case you overspent or you budget it not too little or too little. Um, and then there's just a normal holiday budget sheet that says budget in actual in case you don't want to break it down. And then an expense tracker for overall things. Get into list planners. Um, there's a thing for Christmas cards. This is more so if you want to plan for more than yearly um, and you want this to be just an overall Christmas planner because you have your family name, their address, what year it is, and then whether you sent it and if they received it. Um, so you can definitely print multiples of this which is really really awesome. Um, I just did one and then I also created a couple of note pages for myself which is where I think I'm going to do um, who I send them to. There's another kind of countdown thing, um, things that you want to do and things like that. This is just really good to have if you have a bunch of things to do. Maybe you only need one, but I, I just love it. So it's a few months before, November, December 1st, three weeks, two weeks, the week before. And then you get to a few days before Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. Just things that you want to get done. This next sheet is one that I love. It's the essentials that you might need that you don't honestly think about. Ribbon and cellophane, things like that, that really are handy and you do need them. But in the chaos of everything, you normally don't think about the smaller things. There's also batteries. I know batteries is a big thing that I always forget. And then we're always like trying to find batteries and switching out batteries for Christmas Day. So just something. And then there's also extra um, spots to put more things down, which is helpful. Moving on is to more essentials. You can add more if you need it. You have two different type of master to-do lists that have tasks due and then this is just a task and it says to make and to buy slash order. Online shoppers uh, basically uh, to keep track of all of your online items. So the item who it's for, the website, the order number, the price. I mean you can really get really really specific with these things and I love it so if you want to do that totally up to you if not you don't have to print this out you don't have to do anything with it there is also a dear Santa kind of like a holiday wish list small gifts I'm gonna use these for kind of like the gifts for like our, our post lady bus drivers things where like I really don't need to plan so much I normally just get them a gift card I'm gonna put that here moving on to the gift planner um, you have your brainstorming ideas where you can kind of put who they are, um, things they like, things like that. Budget, really, really good for to look back on next year to see if things have changed, if they still want the kind of same things. You can kind of put ideas for next year if maybe you don't end up getting them this year. And then I love this gift tracker. Um, it always happens to me I end up storing a gift in a random spot on a whim and then I forget to give it to someone because I forgot to store it with my normal Christmas stuff and I end up forgetting to give it to them. So this is good when I bring a gift into the house I write it down and if I put it somewhere I can either I can actually put that down too and I print it out um, an extra two of those because um, that'll just be good to have thank you cards if any out-of-town uh, guests are here then we will definitely do that then you move into traditions and activities and here is a holiday activity list kind of like new things that you want to try out things like that uh, we have like Christmas at the park where they do like the lights and things like that. So we do that every single year, but they have other activities inside of there that we might want to try out this year. And that is the goal. So having it down and making a kind of definite list for me always helps. Then you have a holiday bucket list, things you want to do. These are even smaller things like maybe you want to learn a new Christmas song or maybe you want to manage to have hot cocoa with a family twice a week. Um, whatever you know watch it make sure watch I know one thing for us is to definitely watch a Christmas movie once a week minimum um, and that's just with the with the kids me and Michael are also gonna plan to watch more of like the older Christmas movies eat with each other but we definitely want to watch one Christmas movie with the kids we sit down have popcorn snacks and just really take time to enjoy family have Christmas traditions things that we um, you know traditionally like to do so you have your normal traditions right here, any books and movies, and then new traditions that you might want to start. Oh, skipped a page, sorry. And then here you move into the kids planner. So I have Christmas wish list, three things they would like, they really love, they need, and they're hoping for, and then also some of their favorites, which this is good to fill out. And I'm also gonna give this to uh, family. 
There's another Dear Santa letter. You guys know we've already wrote, written a letter to Santa, but we can still fill this out, and it's still a very, it's a very pretty one. I love little Santa here. He's cute. Um, and they have milk and cookies down here, if you can see. Super cute. And then Christmas entertain, entertainment. Movies to watch, television programs, which ABC Family will be filled with all of this. I love ABC Family and their Christmas lineup. It's amazing every year um, and we'll definitely be watching that and I'll be recording things for Jalen um, for while she's at school for the first two weeks of December. Books to read and then songs to sing along to. We just we love Christmas around here and so uh, yeah. <laughs> And then we have Christmas baking. These are just specifically things that I want to bake with Jalen. Very small things that don't necessarily require a lot of things. You guys know I do make cookies and I do tend to make cookies for our neighborhood. But these are just smaller recipes, Christmas um, houses, things like that, gingerbread houses that I want to... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Just smaller baking things that I want to make with Jalen. I really want to try to bake with her. She loves baking with Mama, so... That is definitely a goal for this year. Christmas dinner. And you have here this a normal menu planner. This is the one that came with the sheet. So you have all of your courses and then a, just a, kind of a shopping list, um, more of a smaller one in my opinion. Christmas dinner plan. So you have the course over here, uh, item of the food, cooking time, time to put in, and then time to take out, which I like filling these out when people are helping me. Um, I can basically say, hey, look at this list and decide um, if they want to help. Like, hey, start this at this time, start this at that time. I don't have to give them a full run through of what I need them to do. I just have them look at this. I also have recipes in here. Um, just like my Thanksgiving thing, I'd use this for only new recipes. Like I said, I have a card box that I use for all of my normal recipes, but these are mostly new. And once again, the only new recipes that I have for Christmas so far are desserts because I like trying new desserts. Everything else is normally like the same. So I printed out a couple extra of those. If you can see this like smudge right here is not from her printable. It is from our office supply store. I printed out several of those for new recipes and also I like using this section if you have a hubby helping or just someone who doesn't really know your schedule to a T. I like putting very simple recipes in here because if he, if I'm stressed and he normally is the first one to realize that I'm stressed when it comes to like prepping for holidays because I want everything to be perfect, he tends to ask what he can help to do um, and the best thing to do is to have a list of smaller, if, if your hubby is like mine and he cannot really cook too well, bless his heart. I will have the simple recipes in here and I can say pick one of those recipes and follow it. Um, so maybe it's a crock pot meal or it's just a meal that needs to just have all the ingredients mashed in together and then put in the oven. Um, it's really easy to have like a couple of your simpler recipes in here so if you need a helping hand really quickly it's not like a full drawn out um, direction needed to basically tell them um, how to help. And the last thing is Christmas Day which this is the same as the front cover. I, I love this one, I think it's so pretty. Um, she did such an amazing job with these printables, seriously. So there's the Christmas Day one, and this is the schedule, um, the traditions for Christmas Day, and then to do, and then notes. I love this because I always get distracted with Christmas and relaxing and stuff like that, and I forget to make uh, breakfast. We normally have uh, the kids come downstairs, we have like coffee and orange juice and drinks. Um, until maybe around 11 or so and then I should get up and start making uh, breakfast around 9 or 10 but I always forget so this will help me stay grounded and remember that I actually have to do stuff <laughs> so that's really really good and then I asked her this is the sheet that I asked her to make and it is the Christmas dinner plan and it starts at 6 a.m. ends at 6 30 p.m. and it says prep cook reheat Christmas Day memories, things that happened that you loved. I want, I like using this more so as a journal um, for the very first part and putting down all the things that I love that happened and I'm very grateful for. And then the bottom things are things that went well with um, the day or things that I might need to change. And the last couple of pages are notes. Um, I just added a couple extra more and that is it. I'm gonna be using this for any sticky notes that I need to use, um, little notes and things like that. And that is it, my loves. I'm super excited about this. There was also a party planner like section that I did not put in, but everything else is perfect. Like I said, links to her shop and coupons will be down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Christmas stuff. Vlog a day starts on uh, November 23rd, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.